Hello all. Let's move to another important phylum in division Pteridophyta. We have already discussed when we talk about division Pteridophyta means these are the vascular cryptogams. Vascular means they have well developed vascular system. Not a very well developed vascular system but they have a vascular system. But they also are cryptogams means they are non floring plants, seedless plants. Okay. In them, the third important phylum is phylum Xylophyta. Okay. And it is also called Whisk Fern. Okay. And of course, the name Whisk Fern, which it will get, is because of the its resemblance to Whisk Brooms. Okay. Jo jhadu hota na, ulta, okay. Uske jesa. And that's how we call it Whisk Fern. Of course, you can see the plant here. Okay. And that's why we call it Whisk Fern. And of course, many of its characteristics are similar to fur. Okay. Now, the one of the best known example in them is Silotum. Silotum is a plant of which we are going to learn the uh, life cycle. Okay. Now, this plant is found in the southern United States as well as in the tropic region. Means most of the regions clear in which it is found is dry region okay so it's common to dry region but of course other than that it is also found in semi temperate zones also okay but it's a shrubby plant okay not a very small like her it's a shrubby plant no leaves are present you can see there is there are no leaves but of course the whole plant is green that's why it can show photosynthesis okay no roots roots are not there they have rhizoid okay instead of roots and of course underground stem that is rhizome clear they they have branch rhizome with rhizoids which we have seen just now so the rhizoids are going to absorb the water okay from the soil correct but other than that they have to play an important role and that role is absorption of the organic nutrients which are present in the soil that is also done by rhizoids and the rhizome Okay, you can see the nutrients from saprophytic fields on organic soil matter. So, one thing is clear. This plant can't grow in any soil. That soil must be rich in organic matter. Okay, so the dead and decaying plants and animals must be there decomposed. So that that soil should be rich in the organic nutrients and that's why when this plant will grow it will have some saprophytic field you can see some of its nutrients it will clear absorb from that correct means the reason is very simple the plants are lacking leaves if leaves are not there definitely they can't show 100 percent photosynthesis the stem is green it can show photosynthesis but not very actively and that's why the requirement of some other nutrients are there which are satisfied through the organic matter which is present in the soil other than that the other nutrients are gathered by mutualistic mycorrhizal fungus means these rhizoids and the rhizome is having an association with the mutualistic association okay with the fungus okay and that is called the mycorrhizal fungus okay you can observe this big trees around us okay all the big trees around us okay it means bade bade jungle hai clear it means hai trees hai ye to itna height tak grow ho raha the reason is quite inside the soil there is a fungal association okay symbiotic association of the fungus mycorrhizal fungus with the roots of the plants quite deep inside the soil okay and because of that they got clear various nutrients and now they can grow well okay so that fungus is there clear in most of the plants or most of the trees the big trees okay and that's why they can grow well but it has been said that during the course of evolution okay this is the plant from which 
दिस एसोसिएशन स्टार्ट ओके सो ये जो माइक्रोराइजल फंगस है ओके ये दिस साइलोटम और द अदर स्पेसीज ओके विथ देम क्लियर दिस सिंबाटिक एसोसिएशन है स्टार्ट नाउ अदर दैन दैट Clear? You can see. So the this is very important point which we must know because this is not common with the other plants. Okay, and of course other plants in terrorophytes. Of course, take okay? mycorrhizal fungus. It is extremely essential. Now, aerial stems are there. They have time scale for repeatedly. Okay, so some scale like leaves are there which are very small, very tiny, and you can see even I haven't shown it here. because on this plant you might not see that but when you will enlarge a part of it you can see just below the uh, sporangia you can see this is there okay uh, the scale like very small tiny of course green because they are photosynthetic are there and that is called enation okay such many enations are present but because of the tiny nature we can see them okay leaf like and of course green photosynthetic and that's why they are called enations the aerial stem is having nodes and internodes okay so these are the nodes 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 okay and in between the two nodes the region is called internode so this is the aerial stem with nodes and internodes okay but other than that sporangia are present at the end of uh, short branches okay and they fuse to form yellow balls called synangia okay so you can see these are the synangia okay these are there and what are there these are the fused sporangia so this is one sporangia second third fourth like this so many sporangia are fused okay and this common structure which looks like yellow balls okay we call that synangia it's a group of sporangia okay now other genera of course other than silota okay the other genera which we have uh, involve uh, mesipteris okay the t is silent here it is mesipteris okay and in this other species you might find microphytes uh, this is one of the example okay such other genera are also there but they have generally microphytes means true leaves are present okay not the scale like enations are there okay but true leaves are present in the other genera of course vascular We are well familiar. They are the pteridophytes, so they have a vascular system. And homosporous means all the spores are same, similar. Okay. Now let's move to the life cycle of Silotum. That is this fern. This is the plant. You can see nodes and internodes are there. Synangia are there, which are the fused sporangia, aerial stem, rhizome, and rhizoids. And of course, the rhizoids and rhizome is with the fungal mycorrhizal fungal. Association, symbiotic association. Now, this plant. Okay, if you will observe the sporangia, that is the synangia. Okay, this is the synangia structure with immature sporangia. The immature sporangia will have spore mother cell. Of course, the spore mother cell means it is diploid because this is a sporophyte plant, and the complete sporophyte plant is also diploid. We are well familiar. Now. this spore mother cells which are present inside the immature sporangia will show meiosis and spores will be formed which are haploid okay and of course now this is the mature sporangia you can observe they are open now releasing the spores okay actually they burst releasing the or throwing the spores outside and as discussed all the spores are same similar okay and that's why Clear? Yeah, the spores, the condition is called homosporous. Now, these spores under favorable condition will show germination, okay, in moist condition, and they will form such independent gametophyte. Independent gametophyte because the gametophyte is not dependent on sporophyte for its germination or for its formation. So, it will germinate. The spore will germinate and form independent gametophyte. Okay, of course, the gametophyte will also help. Rhizoids to absorb clear water and nutrients. Okay, but other than that, this gametophyte is having both antheridia as well as archegonia. You can see the elongated structures are archegonia. Okay, most of the archegonia are generally elongated. Reason along with egg cell, they also have vegetative cell. Okay, and these vegetative cells are going to play an important role 
during fertilization okay now these are the antheridia of course the complete as the spores are haploid the complete dermatophyte plant is also haploid correct and of course if it's haploid clear the antheridia and archegonia which it will form are also haploid structures inside the archegonia there is egg cell and gametocyte cell both are haploid cells and sperms okay which are formed in the antheridia are also haploid as they are all are formed by mitosis there is no option because the plant is haploid these sperms oh, only when the water is present okay and of course this structure is quite small okay and when there is continuous rain and water is present at that time the antheridia will burst releasing the sperms you can see the sperms are flagellated and that's why they can swim in water means water is essential for fertilization and then only the sperms will reach up to the egg but the sperms should properly reach up to the egg for that they should be shown the direction and that has been done by vegetative cell because when water is there the vegetative cell absorb water and it bursts itself releasing this matter inside it and this help the uh, sperms to swim towards this matter and then they will reach to the egg and fertilization takes place to form zygote of course zygote means it's diploid okay of course this is called chemotaxis okay attract the sperms towards egg by releasing certain important chemicals in the surrounding water Okay, and thus they get attracted, and fusion will take place, and zygote is formed. Now, this zygote, where it is formed, exactly जहाँ पे पहले एक सेल था, वहीं पे अब zygote बना है. Correct? तो zygote during its initial growth period, okay, of course it will grow up to form this sporophyte plant. उस वक्त this will absorb some nourishment from The gametophyte plant, क्योंकि gametophyte plant के ऊपर इस जगह जहाँ पे तुम्हारा कौन है एक है, exactly at that place your plant will grow, the sporophyte will grow, okay? And this forming a sporophyte like this, okay? Of course, as usual, the sporophyte is diploid. Again, it will form spore mother cell, meiosis, spores, spores will form independent gametophyte. The complete gametophyte is haploid. It will have Sperms as well as egg, and they will fuse to form the zygote. And again, the diploid condition is from zygote up to the spore mother cell. But once meiosis is shown, the haploid gametophyte stage will start. So, sporophyte and gametophyte are working alternately. Okay. Of course, most of the uh, plants in Xylophyta, okay, show only this type of life cycle. Okay, the alternation of generation. Okay. So, this is all about the Silophyta and the example of Silophyta is Silophyta. Thank you.